my review on Double Dragon. My favorite game, actually, this is Double Dragon 2, the Revenge, uh, the Nintendo version. I tried to play the arcade version and it sucked. I couldn't play it. Uh, the controls are wrong. Uh, just like uh, when James plays, uh, James Rolfe from AVGN plays computer games, some of the, some of the controls are wrong and you need a uh, controller to play it properly. Yeah, the controls are kind of screwy on this. I don't even know where the jump button is. The heck is the jump button? Yeah. Come on. Stupid keyboard controls. Where's the jump button? Oh yeah, you can jump, but you can't move and jump. How are you supposed to? Like, I need to get a classic Nintendo controller or something for this. Or an Alienware controller or something. I don't like playing games by myself. I'd rather have a friend to play along with me. Some video games, but I can't do that. I only have the keyboard for the controller. So I can't do that, which, which is, which I don't like very much. I wish I had an old video game system, have a couple of video games with some friends. As it's kind of boring playing Double Dragon just by yourself. You need to have competitiveness and, and teamwork. That. That's why, like, when you have play a game on a laptop, and it's like a loner's thing, and that it's like it's all just yourself, and that you don't have a friend to, to, to play a game, video game with you. Like, these things should come with controllers and have like a video game mode, but I guess they were way too back in the technology yet to be able to have stuff like that. Or the stores, local stores in town just don't have them. This guy's always hard to, to get. In this game, I always found he was the hardest boss. Or no, yeah, yeah, the guy that disappears and then comes back and 